It is the breaking news story of the day. The Electoral Court has, in fact, uh, just released its order in the Umkonto Wesizwe case. Uh, I have the order right in front of me. The application for leave to appeal is granted. The appeal succeeds. The decision of the Electoral Commission of 28 March 2024, in terms of which the Electoral Commission upheld Dr. Matsupola's objection to the second application candidacy, Mr. Jacob Zuma is set aside and substituted with the following. The objection is hereby dismissed. No order is made to cost. Well, I have uh, Kenny Mapanga, uh, who has been following this story in studio with me today to unpack this particular order. Um, of course, Kenny, you've been tracking the story. You were in court yesterday. A, a, a lot, um, a number um, of, uh, you know, facts that were both argued by, you know, the uh, Jacob Zuma's legal team as well as the IEC's legal team on Section 47, yes. subsection, um, I think it was uh, 1E. 1E. Yes. Um, and of course, a lot of interpretation based on that. I would imagine that is what now has led uh, the electoral court to decide. Just unpack uh, what this means now. Well, just hours before we expected that deadline for the candidate list to be made, we know that tomorrow the IEC should be making that list public. Mm -hmm. The election timetable is clear. Of course, because of that tight timeline, the electoral court had to uh, give out an order quite quickly on this issue. So it is just an order. There aren't any reasons uh, provided by the electoral court yet um, to support why they've arrived to this decision. But essentially, the former president has succeeded in his appeal. That means that you can expect to see former President Jacob Zuma ranked number one on Mkonto Wesizwe's list. It means that he's not disqualified from Section 47, Subsection 1E of the Constitution. Remember, that deals with members of the National Assembly and the criteria in which you can go to the National Assembly. So it states that if you have a conviction and you've been sentenced to 12 months or more without the option of a fine, then you cannot be a member of the National Assembly. And that disqualification exists for at least five years um, after you've completed your sentence. But it's clear that uh, the MK party, as well as the former president through their counsel, Advocate Dalim Pofu SC, were able to convince the court that this objection was, that was upheld rather by the IEC, was probably irregular. As you can see in the third part of the order that the electoral court has uh, set aside that objection which the IEC um, upheld mm -hmm. in disqualifying the former president. So it means that his political rights have been safeguarded and you can expect that he'll be at number one of the Mkonto Wesizwe list which we expect to be published tomorrow and made public by the IEC. Okay. And of course, uh, just very briefly, before I let you go, I mean, the commission's legal representative, advocate Mukai Dobi, yesterday saying that, um, you know, the remission, mm. of course, that's the pres presidential remission, did not change the constitutional court's original sentence, which was 15 months. Just touch a little bit about that particular argument. Okay. So the counsel for the former president was stating that the remission of sentence should have been taken into consideration. That meant that in reality, the uh, former president had served about three months, not 15 months, which would have been short of the yardstick of the 12 months, which was ordered by the court. But the counsel for the IEC, that is Advocate Timbeg and Toby SC, actually pointed out to the court that that was an executive decision, that proclamation of that special remission that the former president was a beneficiary of. And what you should follow is what the court has said. So his argument was that the court found the conduct of the former president so serious mm -hmm. that they gave, instead of an option of a fine, they gave him a sentence of 15 months. And he says if you look at that at the backdrop of section 47 and you look at its purpose, you have to look at the purpose and that what is it trying to do? It, his exact words were it is trying to keep serious law breakers from being lawmakers, which is what you essentially are if you head to the National Assembly. However, we'll learn from the court once if they do provide their reasons uh, how they arrived to that conclusion. However, the former president was successful in his appeal, and you can expect uh, that in those 29 May uh, polls, he would be ranked number one on the Mkonto Wesizwe party list.